What's up boys? CS2 just released and with it moved CSGO's lucrative skin market into the new game. Some of these skins have certain patterns that increase the value of the skins and sometimes it's increased by an obscene amount of money. I've always wanted an inventory where every item has a story or some cool stuff going on with it, but I'm not about to drop like 2 million dollars on some pixels. So today I'm going to be taking a look at some skins that have some rare patterns that don't cost a fortune. These are skins that us average people can afford and still show off because most of them have a cool reason for being rare. A lot of these won't require you to overpay for them since they're not as popular as some other skins. To start this video off, I'm going to go over the skins I talked about in my short series about this, which happens to start with my favorite pattern in the game on the XM Seasons. A few of the pattern IDs allow you to see the full spectrum of leaf colors on the gun. If the pattern is centered correctly, then you get this rare blue leaf on it. The chance to get the blue leaf for the Spectrum Fade pattern is approximately a 2% chance when pulling the skin. There's also a version that people call an incomplete Spectrum Fade where the leaf is cut off. This one is around half as rare as the full Spectrum. The price to get this one varies, but I've seen it go on the market for no overpay to a few dollars more depending on the condition. I definitely think this one is worth hunting for since it's such an easy one to find for no overpay. Another purple that has a rare pattern is the Glock Moonrise. What you're looking for on this gun is the star being exposed on this tab. On average, people look for the star to be as centered as possible in the tab, but it can appear on any part of it. The star placement decides which tier the skin is in between four tiers. Only about 5% of Moonrises have this star, which makes it just common enough to find it easily. On the subject of the Moonrise, the UMP Moonrise has a similar pattern. You can get the UMP to have a star on the front or back sight if the pattern is placed correctly. These patterns aren't very rare, so it's pretty easy to get one of these. You can also get the moon to be hidden, making the skin a moonless moonrise. The next skin is a bit more popular, the Aw Paw. People try to get a certain cat fully visible on the front of the gun depending on whichever one they like best. Some popular ones include the Golden Grenade, the Golden Cat, and the other Golden Cat. People used to overpay for the Golden Cats at one point, but to my knowledge it's basically the exact same price at this point. Some people also prefer the cat to be full on the back of the gun, so a lot of that is up to preference. The next skin is pretty unique in what can make it rare. The Galil Sandstorm. There are three separate colors on this skin's pattern sheet. Depending on how your skin is centered, you can get a mix of any of these colors. The colors range from tan, white, and purple, and it's possible to get the gun to be mostly of the same color depending on what you want. Most of the people who collect these like the purple version since it's the most unique. This also applies to the Tech 9 Sandstorm, but it's easier to get the full thing to be a certain color because of its size. The next skin is the Op Pop. This one has a banger of a popular pattern. These patterns are known as the Sus Patterns and have a little Among Us guy on the front with a wide range of colors. Other rare patterns for this skin include the Russian words being as centered and as clear as possible, the Max White Pattern which orients the pattern to show the least color possible, the Vertical Pattern which keeps most of the skin looking more structured and grid-like, and the Checkerboard Pattern. Some of these are really tough to find on the market, but the payoff is pretty good for a skin with so many possibilities. The next skin is the 5-7 Kami. Too many of you probably know where this is going. The most popular pattern for this skin is the Pussy Pattern, since most CSGO players have never seen something like that before. For some reason, this one will actually get you overpay. Some variants of this pattern includes the Clean Pussy, the Tight Pussy- Alright, I'm not saying that anymore. There's the Clean, Tight, Close-Up, Bullet, and the normal versions of the P-Word gun. This skin also has a ton of other abstract patterns, like the Rectangle Guy, the Smile, the Walrus, and the Double Eyes. There's a lot more patterns to go over for this skin, but a lot of them are kind of reaching, but it's still pretty cool to see a lot of special patterns on one skin. The next skin is the Bronze Deco Deagle. People focus on the back of the gun near the hammer for the rare skins on this one. The most popular one is the pattern 703 for good reason. The back of the gun is completely light gold. This one is known as the only triple S tier pattern for light gold on this skin. As you go down in tiers, you see less of the light gold. The best pattern for the dark gold variant is pattern 864 and the best for the full gray area is 425. The next skin is the Mag 7 Sonar. This is the pattern template which makes it pretty easy to guess what people look for with this skin. Getting a full gray or full blue across the length of the gun makes the gun much more unique than the other patterns. It's extremely rare to find one of these skins with the colors lined up perfectly, so it's definitely a cool one to find. The MP7 has an interesting quirk on the Lab Rat skin. On the pattern sheet, you can see this lone red rat that's separated from the rest of the rats on the pattern. People try to get this one lined up to be clearly visible on the handguard on the play side, like in pattern 514. The red rat can also appear on the silencer and above the trigger. Some other rare patterns for this one include the mama rat appearing on the silencer or handguard completely covering the area in red. Hopefully this video blows up and makes me a lot of money, I, I mean I hope it helped you guys find cheap but rare skins to add to your collection. With how huge the skin system is in this game, I'm sure I could find a bunch more of these to make videos about, so if you guys like this then let me know. Also, if you know any rarer skin patterns like the ones in this video, let me know for next time.
I never ask this, but subscribe, please. I'm begging you.